defend yourself well, Greenblood. One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. You already training for your new post of Legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. No, thanks all the same. I have quite a few tasks to check off my list before we depart. And here you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the aisle. You'll always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Cossillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. <sighs> I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill... Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to- I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his- see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade, Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits.
Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next? Greetings, Your Excellency. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. If you're heretic... I'll... Could you tell me anything about Teleme? I've... I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives?
Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future. Oh, please. A uh, uh, this in I, the I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Uh, uh, some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to say... When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. 
My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every... When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any... It wasn't about... Be back soon, Captain. The merchant is there. Oh, hello, Your Excellency. It is an off. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Have a nice day, sire. Tavern keeper. I'll see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night. But it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered. And no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? 20 years of age. Hair down to his neck. Light brown. Blue eyes. Quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Well then, were you able to repair it all? No, I haven't been able to sort them out. In that case, you need to pay me, sir. I regret I don't have the sum you're asking for. Either you repair them, or you reimburse their cost. Or I keep what I know about your cousin to myself. That's ridiculous. He could reimburse you easily. He's quite a rich man. Perhaps, but a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And as for promises, I've heard enough to fill an ocean. Very well. I will see what I can scavenge. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. The furniture is in terrible condition. 
The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. selection welcome it's such a pleasure to see you again have you seen anything to your liking what might I help you with thank you for your visit see you soon Yes, that's Constantine's voice. It's coming from the upper floor. It sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. It's not possible just now. Yeah! It's not possible just now. It's not possible just now. It's not possible just now. It's not possible just now.
Locked. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress. Constantine, it's me! My dear cousin! <laughs> my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. I'll do what I can. We're departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, good cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. There's no one left to pay, your highness. The brave Kurt and your cousin have already settled the books. Really now? What a shame. I would have loved to have seen that. We've nothing left to do then than to board our ship. An adventure awaits us at the end of the street.
So, Constantine Dorsey, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. I'm still without news of my cabin boy, but we will have to do without. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. You're quite right. I do have a thing or two to put in order. Then be quick with it. There isn't much time left before the tide rolls out. Could you tell me anything about our destination, the island of Tierfredi? It is a magnificent place. Wild. Spared from your wars and the natives have there other... Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tier Freddy. My isle. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures. As big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, piss-distilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need roots! We must contain it! Help! Send them a hand. Captain! 
so eager to discover Tear Freddy. My eye on. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, pistol-stilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? So eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with pain. So eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures, as big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. Your Highness, I'm happy to see you. Your absence this morning. Come now, Sir de Corsi. I'm sad to have called. Would you believe those still? Ta-da! You might have refused. Take away the risk. Hmm. What will be your official title on Tier 4D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. Nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all and also obtain as your help. It's always... I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor.
I'm sorry, I'm afraid that I won't make for good company.